from a $4 million dress to a $200 million ultra-luxurious resort, these are the 17 wealthiest actresses in the world and their opulent lifestyles. Sofia Vergara Being the star of a highly successful TV series like Modern Family is usually enough to skyrocket your career into space. Sofia Vergara, however, took that to the next level. Unlike her co-stars, she didn't rush to star in every production thrown her way. Instead, she chose the right roles for the right price. Today, although her annual income is just above $22 million, Vergara can boast with $130 million of personal wealth. She managed to multiply her $1 million per Modern Family episode to a sizable investment portfolio worth more than $70 million. Moreover, Vergara earned over $17 million from her Instagram account, where she has over 30 million followers. Now that's what I call monetizing your followers. As you can imagine, the starlet doesn't live in a small cockroach-infested apartment. Instead, she enjoys the solitude of a 12,100 square feet ultra-luxurious home in Atlantico, Colombia. The property cost her about $22 million and has 9 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a game room, a nightclub, and many other amenities Sophia without a doubt deserves. The Modern Family star also has an eye for cars. Although her garage is filled with top brands like Range Rover Sport, McLaren GT, Mercedes-Benz EQC, BMW X7, and Jaguar F-Type, the central piece in her car collection, without a doubt, is her $1 million Rolls-Royce Dawn. Though she's far from over with her career as an actress, she can certainly take it slow and enjoy the life she built. God knows we don't need another bottom of the ninth. How rich would Sophia be if she could sing? One could only guess, or not. Actually, we have a perfect example coming up next. Miley Cyrus When she's not twerking on stage, Miley Cyrus is busy making a lot of money. How else can we explain this young superstar's $160 million personal fortune? Is it surprising that this Disney starlet, who grew out of her shell as an over-the-top performer with loose morals, is actually more than just a singer and an actress? In fact, young Miley is also a fashion icon and receives huge sums from lucrative endorsement deals. However, where she indeed generates a lot of dough is on social media. There, Cyrus is a true god. With millions of followers, she manages to capitalize on her fan like no other actress can. That's not all of her income, though. As recently, she dove deep into the crypto market, and some even claim she became a Bitcoin billionaire. For now, though, her fortune remains in the lower nine figures. Naturally, Miley lives one opulent and lavish lifestyle that could be the envy of many. She owns a number of extravagant homes, including a $4.9 million pad in Nashville and a $5.8 million mansion in Malibu. Her true passion, however, is designer clothes and jewelry. Her wardrobe and accessories are worth millions. It seems that the young starlet managed to capitalize on her career pretty well. Still, not as well as our next entry. Jennifer Lawrence Unlike Sofia Vergara, Jennifer Lawrence broke into stardom with her movie career and a leaked naked photo or two. Still, the talent of the young actress is undeniable. Since 2013, she's been constantly in the world's top five highest paid actresses as she banks around $21 million per film. Despite her young age, she accumulated a fortune worth $175 million. Considering how the Hunger Games crossed over $6 billion, one might think the actress is a bit underpaid. Still, with four gorgeous and ultra-luxurious mansions, I certainly won't lose sleep over her salary. The biggest of her homes is her Beverly Hills mansion, worth $8.2 million. If you think that's expensive, don't forget that this is actually a massive home in one of the most costly areas in the entire world. A far better reason to lose your mind would be the $4 million Dior Couture dress she wore to the 2013 Oscar ceremony. 
money. Now that's how you rub your success in your peers' noses. Still, not everyone's impressed with Lawrence's lifestyle. Compared to Charlize Theron, the young Jennifer is nothing but a newbie in being rich. Charlize Theron while we're talking about highly paid actresses, we can't forget Charlize Theron, the brilliant actress who made me root for the villain in Snow White and the Huntsman and Monster, is currently worth $180 million. But of course, that's not at all surprising, as the star charges about $18 million per movie. Outside the big screen, Charlize is an avid car collector, with 15 cars in her garage. Among them are a $100,000 Lincoln Navigator, a $150,000 Jaguar I-Pace, a Rolls-Royce Phantom worth $2 million, and a Bugatti Chiron, with a price tag of $2.8 million. The talented actress lives in one magnificent magnificent 8,500-square-foot, ultra-luxurious mansion in San Francisco, California. Even disregarding that, we're talking about a Hollywood star's house. The current market value of this superb home is $30 million. The cherry on top, however, is Charlize's four ultra-luxurious yachts, which she uses to escape the constant paparazzi swimming around her home. Charlize is undoubtedly an icon. But fan favorites like Scarlett Johansson will always have much more to brag about. Scarlett Johansson Having Russian spy on your CV right now is not the best way to find a job. However, when you have Natasha Romanoff in your portfolio, that completely changes the mood. Scarlett Johansson is definitely among the most beloved and iconic Marvel actresses. However, she made a name for herself long before the comic book movie craze. So naturally, her talent comes at a price. And for movie producers, that price is approximately $35 million per movie. Due to those high rates, ScarJo accumulated one truly inspiring net worth. Despite her young age, she's currently worth $180 million, a sum I will have to work for at least a few weeks to gather. Naturally, the actress doesn't live like a hermit, as she has several multi-million dollar highly luxurious homes. Her enormous Hampton home is worth more than $2.2 million, and she spent at least as much to keep paparazzi away from her at all times. However, her permanent home is another beautiful four-bedroom home in New York, worth $4 million. Naturally, as she spends much of her time in Hollywood, she bought a $3.9 million ultra-luxurious mansion in Los Feliz, Los Angeles. If you think all of ScarJo's money went into property, worry not. She also has one sizable car collection. Among her favorite cars, you can find a Mercedes-Benz SLS worth approximately $200,000 and an Audi Q7 worth about 100 k ScarJo is one of the most enigmatic actresses in the world as she values her privacy above all else. So while we can glimpse at her extraordinary luxurious life, I can only wonder what lavish amenities lie beyond what we are allowed to see. While the current fan favorites are definitely banking on their careers, they can't even come close to the class of some of the all-time greats like Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda the beloved Broadway and Hollywood icon is still conquering the big screen despite being 85. With a net worth of $210 million, one could wonder why she doesn't just enjoy her golden years. Maybe she just likes the spotlight that much. Unlike her body in the late 60s, Barbarella is not too prone to show her fortune today. That doesn't mean she lives modestly, God forbid. She still has a fantastic $5.4 million LA home and several other multi-million dollar mansions in DC, New Mexico, Santa Monica, and Beverly Hills. Moreover, she often spends on extravagant items, just like in 2011 when she paid $55,000 for a set of false teeth. While Fonda is not a huge car collector, she still has a vintage 1966 Ferrari 275 GTB, worth approximately $3 million. Now that's how I imagine myself being 85, living in a $5 million home and driving a $3 million car. Still, Let's not forget that Demi Moore is younger and richer, so maybe I should follow her example instead. Demi Moore 
Demi Moore is a prime example of how your brilliant real estate portfolio can overshadow a brilliant career as an actress. Not only, though, as she managed to capitalize on all of her high-profile relationships over the years. During the 80s, the actress was married two times and planned a third wedding, which didn't happen. She got out of each relationship wealthier and more famous. For example, her divorce with Bruce Willis in the early 90s granted her over $90 million and a lucrative real estate portfolio. Today, Demi Moore is worth more than $220 million, as the actress enjoys a $20-plus million annual income from various assets. That's nothing compared to the height of her career in the late 90s, when she charged more than $60 million per movie. Today, she owns more than $100 million in property. Moreover, she has one small but highly expensive car collection. In her garage, you can find a Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG worth $200,000, a Lamborghini Urus going for $225,000, and a 1967 Ford Mustang worth more than $450,000. What she truly enjoys spending money on, however, are dresses. While there are no mind-blowing pieces in her collection, her dresses still cost between three and $10,000. It's nice to see the sex symbols of the 90s can still enjoy their money today. And while Demi Moore certainly managed to capitalize on her marriages and real estate portfolio, compared to Julia Roberts, she still has a lot to learn. Julia Roberts Julia Roberts, with her infatuating smile, was undoubtedly the most sought-after actress in the late 90s and early 2000s. The actress was practically subscribed to have a role in all rom-com flicks from that era. And honestly, she was brilliant. These movies have a collective box office success of nearly $3 billion, which is simply mesmerizing for the genre. So, naturally, Roberts managed to monetize her memorable performances. And today, she has a comfortable bank account of more than $255 million. That's not surprising, as she was the first actress to receive more than $20 million for a movie. If that's not impressive, Julia received $3 million plus 3% of the total revenue of the 2010 movie Valentine's Day. That doesn't sound too impressive until you realize she had only one scene in the entire movie lasting about six minutes. That comes at about $500,000 per minute on screen. However, movies were not her only income. She also received lucrative endorsement deals as Lancome paid her $50 million for a five-year contract. Naturally, Julia Roberts has one truly inspiring real estate portfolio. She owns a $4 million apartment in Manhattan and a $2.5 million ranch in New Mexico. Her prized possession, however, is her 6,200-square-foot ultra-luxurious mansion in San Francisco, worth approximately $8.3 million. Now, if you expect to see Julia Roberts in a $1 million car, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But somehow, the sex symbol of the 90s is not that keen on spending money on cars. Instead, she owns a Toyota Prius worth around 25k. If you're more interested in actresses with cars, maybe Julia Louis-Dreyfus will be more to your taste. Julia Louis-Dreyfus Ever since Julia Louis-Dreyfus first stepped into the stage of Troll, the world knew she would be a success. And that's Troll we're talking about, one of the worst movies of all time. Thankfully, this god-awful film didn't stop her from having one outstanding career and accumulating a $260 million fortune in the process. Compared to her father, who has a multi-billion dollar business, Julia is still relatively poor. But let's not forget that she earned her wealth with brilliant acting and outstanding dedication to her work at Seinfeld. At the end of the show, she cashed more than $1 million per episode. Today, Julia earns around $20 million a year from acting endorsement deals and investments. She lives with her husband, Brad Hall, in a 3,000-square-foot oceanfront beach house 
in Montecito, California, as well as several other properties in Maryland, Chesapeake Bay, St. Michael's Harbor, and others. Unlike Julia Roberts, however, the comedy genius has a thing for cars. She has seven cars. Though none are expensive or luxurious, still, she does own a Tesla Model S worth approximately $90,000 a Mercedes E-Class worth approximately 60 k an Audi A3, a Ferrari, and a BMW. Still, her prized possession is a $1.25 million Aston Martin DB5, used in a James Bond movie. She got it as a present from Jerry Seinfeld himself. Can you imagine that Julia Louis-Dreyfus is not even in the top five wealthiest actresses? Despite her outstanding career and multi-billion dollar heritage awaiting, believe it or not, she's barely in the top 10. And those coming next won't be such a huge surprise either. Sandra Bullock The brilliant actress turned producer has transitioned from capitalizing on her beauty to monetizing her artistic view. That's a sign of a sharp mind, and naturally, Sandra Bullock has more than $280 million today. Despite still taking roles on the big screen today, she also produces two different shows on Netflix and one on Hulu. Naturally, this brings her a comfortable annual income of more than $25 million. The biggest contributor to this wealth is her deal for starring in Gravity. The actress took home 20 million right from the top and has negotiated another 15% of Gravity's box office gross. Currently, her earnings from that movie alone are worth $120 million. Like most other actresses, Bullock spent her money on the finer things in life. However, a massive chunk of her earnings was invested in pretty lucrative real estate deals. The starlet bought a $2.7 million property in Valley Center, California, and sold it 15 years later for double that price. She did the same with another LA home, but she tripled her investment this time. On top of that, Sandra owns about a dozen properties with a combined worth of nearly $100 million in Texas and Beverly Hills. However, her primary residence remains in Beverly Hills, where she lives comfortably in a $16.2 million ultra-luxurious mansion with all sorts of amenities. Of course, if there is something better than having $280 million, it's to have $330 million. Jennifer Aniston so no one told you life was gonna be this way. If they had, Jennifer Aniston would probably never have starred at the god-awful Leprechaun movie. Honestly, though, her career was pretty sweet from the get-go. However, with friends, she became more than a household name. Jennifer became a fan favorite. By the end of the series, Aniston cashed more than 20 million per season plus additional royalties worth approximately $10 million annually. So it's definitely not a surprise that the star has $330 million in her bank account and currently gets $1.25 million per episode from Apple TV's The Morning Show. Though she's not the most expensive actress out there, costing only about $8 million per movie, Aniston earns approximately $30 million annually. A huge benefactor to her salary are the lucrative endorsements with Smartwater, Emirates, iLove, and Avino, which generate about a third of her annual income. Aniston has one truly spectacular real estate portfolio, as she recently spent $20.1 million on a Bel Air mega mansion. That's not her only home, though, as she also owns at least $10 million worth of property in New York. Moreover, Jennifer also loves to spend on luxurious cars. She owns a $91,000 Audi A8, a $90,000 Range Rover SUV, a Toyota Prius worth 22 k a Porsche 911 Targa worth approximately 150 k and her prized possession, a $200,000 Bentley Continental GT. On top of it all, she loves watches, as she owns a $34,000 Rolex Daydate Gold.
Yes, being Jennifer Aniston surely is great, but being Jessica Alba is definitely better. Jessica Alba Jessica Alba is one that needs no introduction. Her $390 million are a testimonial to her brilliant career and even more brilliant mind. The actress earns more than $40 million a year, only half of which comes from movie paychecks. As a beauty icon, Alba has signed various endorsement deals, but moreover, she is the co-founder of The Honest Company, selling baby, personal, and household products. In recent years, the company boomed and is currently enjoying $70 million of revenue annually. Naturally, Alba lives like a king, well, a queen. She spends her free time in a 10,800-square-foot ultra-luxurious mega-mansion in California, worth $14 million. How doesn't she get lost in the 8 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms? I have no idea. But she probably always ends up at one of the two pools. The brilliant actress turned businesswoman has over $19 million in prime stock shares from companies such as IBM, Intel, Visa, Meta, and AT&T. Naturally, she does enjoy life to the fullest as she spends predominantly on vacations and accessories. Still, she does own three ultra-luxurious yachts, three ultra-luxurious cars worth approximately $5 million, and six not-as-impressive cars. Probably, she wants to be the most beautiful thing in her garage as well. How brilliant should you be to be more wealthy than such an inspiring woman as Jessica Alba? Let's find out. Victoria Principal Victoria Principal should be a shining example to all actresses today. Despite not being on the screen for about a decade, her net worth has doubled. And today, the former Hollywood star is worth more than $400 million. She spent most of her career on the small screen, portraying Pamela Barnes Ewing on Dallas. Unsurprisingly, her career was only the financial boost she needed to start her own endeavor. In the mid-1980s, she launched a natural beauty company, which later grew into a skincare giant called Principal Secret. In the next 30 years, this became her primary source of income, though she continued acting till 2012. Recently, the company grossed $1.5 billion in revenue. So, in 2019, she sold it for a colossal sum, which, unfortunately, remains a secret. On top of it all, Principal has one truly inspiring real estate portfolio, spreading from the east to the west coast. She even owns a home in Switzerland, where I guess she swims in chocolate and pets cows. Since 2012, she has invested a large amount of her money into a ranch outside Los Angeles, where she operates an animal rescue center. Guess she reminisced about her Dallas days. It's evident that Victoria Principal had everything. A sharp mind, a vision, and the talent to earn her capital. Imagine what she could have done if she only had blonde hair. Well, no need to imagine it. Reese Witherspoon has it all. Reese Witherspoon whether Reese Witherspoon is legally blonde is not important when she has $420 million in her bank account. The actress that stole many hearts in the past two decades currently earns more than $35 million from playing and producing movies and TV shows. Her highest income benefactor is The Morning Show, where she takes $1.25 million per episode. Reese has much to show for and doesn't hesitate to flash out her wealth. Among her high-profile purchases, we can see a Malibu farmhouse worth approximately $6.25 million, another Nashville home worth $3.3 million, and a gorgeous ultra-luxurious Pacific Palisades home with a price tag of $12.7 billion. The actress is also passionate about high-end jewelry, owning several million dollars of accessories like emerald earrings, rings, and bracelets, worth more than $1 million. Moreover, she owns a Tiffany bracelet and diamond earrings, worth approximately half a million. Of course, Reese Witherspoon was a prodigy, but so were Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, and the latter truly managed to milk their early Hollywood success. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen 
Who would have thought that the cute twins that played Michelle in Full House would become among the wealthiest actresses in the world? But here we are, and here they are, worth a staggering $550 million each. Their massive success as preteen actresses allowed them to establish a successful fashion empire worth several billion dollars. How much exactly is unknown, though The Row, their most well-known fashion line, has been valued at $1 billion. The twins have one genuinely inspiring real estate portfolio, spanning two continents. It seems they prefer to stay in New York, as they own a four-bedroom, multiple-terraces, ultra-luxurious penthouse apartment worth $13.5 million and a five-story townhouse in Manhattan worth $7.7 .7 million. If that's not enough, they also own a $7.7 .7 million Hampton estate and an $8.7 million Paris apartment overlooking the Eiffel Tower. The Olsen twins also own at least three ultra-luxurious cars, including a vintage Ford Mustang and a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, worth 94 k However, when traveling, they prefer to stay on top of the world with their ultra-luxurious private Gulfstream G550, worth around $60 million. The twins are well known for their affinity toward contemporary arts. In their collection are art pieces by Damien Hirst and Jeff Koons, worth several million dollars. In 2007, they purchased one of their most expensive art pieces to date, a Richard Prince painting, worth $140,000. If it wasn't clear from their line of business, the two sisters are also interested in fashion. Thus, they own several million dollars worth of jewelry. The central piece of their collection is a vintage Cartier watch worth $81,000. Having half a billion dollars sounds like fun, but owning more than three billion dollars is definitely better. Jamie Gertz It's tough being Jamie Gertz. On one side of the country, she's known as an iconic actor that took part in fan favorites like The Lost Boys and Twister and series like Seinfeld and ER. On the other side, Gertz is better known as a brilliant businesswoman and the Atlanta Hawks NBA team owner. That's one duality in the personality that's not too harsh on your psyche. Currently, Gertz is worth more than $3.2 billion, and while a sizable part of this money comes from her three decades on the screen, she also enlists the help of her many successful investments. The actress is a well-known shareholder in Uber, Airbnb, and SpaceX, all of which are highly successful businesses. Naturally, the actress-turned-businesswoman has one jaw-dropping real estate portfolio worth nearly $1 billion. The most notable estates in her portfolio are a $10.6 million Hidden Hills mansion, a $38 million Malibu estate, another $38 million Montecito estate, and, of course, an ultra-luxurious Beverly Hills mansion worth $85 million. Unfortunately for us, Jamie Gertz is one truly classy lady who rarely shows off her money. Instead, she prefers spending mostly on charities, as her donations have exceeded hundreds of millions of dollars over the years. Now that's what I call capitalizing on your time on the screen. Still, Gertz is not the wealthiest actress in history. This honor belongs to the late, great Dina Merrill. Dina Merrill Dina Merrill was a genuine legend in the film industry, as she was not only a great actress who took Hollywood by storm in the 50s and 60s, but later became one of the first successful actresses who transitioned into the business world. Unfortunately, Dina passed away in 2017, and by the time of her death, she was worth more than $5 billion. Over the years, Merrill served as more than an eye candy on the big screen. Instead, she opted to become one of the most successful businesswomen in America, as she was a member of several high-profile company boards. Among them were multi-billion dollar conglomerates like the Lehman Brothers, Gillette, and Quaker Oats. Naturally, Dina lived large. Well, as large as a woman was allowed in those patriarchal times. She owned several highly expensive and ultra-luxurious properties, 
like her East Hampton estate worth $48 million. Moreover, she had a $16 million apartment in Manhattan and a $10 million lavish mansion in Beverly Hills. The icing on the cake, however, was her ultra-luxurious Mar-a-Lago Dream Resort, worth approximately $200 million. Meryl genuinely enjoyed the finer things in life, as she owned a treasure worth of jewelry, with a price tag in the tens of millions. Her most famous piece was a diamond necklace that the Duchess of Windsor once owned. The accessory was worth more than $4 million alone. Yes, Dina Merrill was truly the epitome of a successful hot.